Smoky Frost with CFC Seam. Smoking tobacco has been an issue on our campus and around the country for several years. The government recently proposed warning labels that include graphic images and blunt statements that take up about half the box of a cigarette. Will the shocking scare tactic work or should the FDA propose a new idea? We talked to CFC students and staff. To the FDA proposed nine labels go into effect with sayings such as cigarettes are addictive and cigarettes cause cancer by June 2011. Health professor at the college, Scooter Barnett, said that although the graphic images may not be the best way to influence people, something still needs to be done. It's going to be effective because you, at least that is going to cover everyone who smokes. So am I for the shock and awe treatment of gross pictures? Not really, but at the same time, if it reaches a few people who have slipped through the cracks educational-wise, and usually that's lower socioeconomic people. I don't think we can put college students in that category. But at the same time, if it turns a few people back, you know, um, I, I just think it's a, it's a habit that is going to be inevitably a, um, cause a disease. It's going to necessarily stop anyone from smoking or make somebody quit. They probably paid a lot of money for those images or to print them all. So probably it's more just a waste of money. I don't really need an image to for me to know that smoking is not good for me and it can cause cancer. Right. Most people know the dangers of smoking and most people an image on the cigarette box is not going to prevent them from buying it. So nice try but Labels have not yet been approved by Congress, it's pretty clear that this shockingly graphic approach may not be the right one. For CFC Scene, I'm Lindsay Frost.